today's a bit of an exciting day today. We have an approximately 20,000 litre pool that we're going to be installing a special pool heat pump for. Now all the pool equipment is down here behind this feature wall and any front exhaust horizontal discharge heater isn't, uh, isn't going to work effectively because it's just going to be blowing the air into the wall and reticulating the cold air back into the heater. Uh, luckily, we have a new product available to the market. This is the Evo Heat Edge Pool Heat Pump. And uh, what it does is it blows the air out both sides of the heater uh, instead of out the front with all your controlling equipment inlet and outlet on one side of the heater. Now, this is the slimmest available side draft heater in the market today. Now, this is only 400 deep and it only requires 50 mil clearance off the back of the heater. So we can put them right up against the wall, uh, especially in this situation. So there's good clearance and there's still easy access for the owner or the serviceman to get up to the equipment there to service it. Uh, we're gonna install this with a uh, Evo heat J box, which allows the pool heater to talk to the chlorinator and the water pump uh, to make this system completely automated. So the customer can switch on the heater using the Wi-Fi, and the heater will automatically react to the climatic conditions that the pool is exposed to. And we'll tune back in after the install and go over the setup. pool cover on here. It's going to give a far longer swim season with the pool heat pump if we can use the pool cover when we're not swimming in the pool. It's also going to drastically reduce the amount of energy required to keep the pool heated. Uh, this is the feature wall and then if we go around the side here we can see that we've got some excellent clearances. So this has been professionally installed by one of the Evo heat authorised installers on our network uh, and you can see that they've also got the J box in as well which gives automated control for the chlorinator and the pool heat pump of the filtration water pump to do whatever job is necessary. Now sitting down here I can barely hear the heater running they are really quiet and I can feel a ton of cold air getting pumped out the side here if you had a front draft heater, it'd be pumping out the front, hitting the wall, and then reticulating into the back of the heater, uh, dramatically reducing its efficiency, probably to the point where the heater would just freeze up and not work. But here, we can pump the air out the side, uh, and the heater's gonna work nice and efficiently. We see here, we've got uh, the perfect 1.5, two degree differential, water going at 16 and a half, coming out at 18. Uh, we can turn the temperature up, by pressing the up arrow and obviously turn the temperature down by pressing the down arrow. We can set timers on this heater so you can set them so they'll only run during the daytime and that way they'll only consume the electricity uh, provided by the solar electricity panels on the roof and we can use this button here to change the modes of operation. So this heater will actually chill the pool if you need it to do so and it can also automatically maintain a set temperature. This is the Wi-Fi module here. It actually doubles up. It's a Wi-Fi module and a Bluetooth module. So you can control this heater directly through the uh, Bluetooth, or you can control this heater using the Wi-Fi in the house. And you can switch this on from anywhere in the world as long as you have uh, data. And because we've got the J-Box installed, the heater will then be able to call for water from the water pump uh, to heat up the pool. Uh, having the J-Box installed also allows the heater to respond to climatic conditions. So if the heater only needs to run for two hours a day because it's nice and warm and the cover's on the pool, uh, the heater will switch off the water pump once it's got the pool to temperature. But if it's a really cold day and there's lots of people swimming in the pool or they forgot to put the pool cover back on, the heater can automatically respond to, uh, to what the pool's exposed to and run for long as necessary in order to keep the pool at the nice temperature. Now, there are other side draft heaters in the market, but they're big bulky square boxes, wouldn't have been appropriate for this job here because you wouldn't have been able to access the pool equipment.
on the other side. And they need twice the clearance off the rear of the heater. This heater only needs 50 mil off the back of the heater between any wall. Uh, really, really happy with the sound. Really, really happy with the aesthetics of the pool heater. It's blowing out a ton of cold air now. And on a day like today, it will probably only take half a day, maybe a little bit more, to heat up this pool for when the kids get home. Obviously longer in winter and shorter in summer. If you want to know more information about the Evo Heat Edge pool heat pumps, uh, just visit www.evoheat.com.au. Thank you for listening.